everyone, so I'm going to show you how I edited a couple of my favorites from this photo session. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just bring the exposure down a bit and bring up those purples and warm tones. I'm doing this to allow my photo to be a little bit more dark and rich instead of bright and saturated. So when adjusting these warm and purple tones, I kind of do it in stages, just continually going back to it and adding more and more. If you do it all at once, it's fine, but I tend to get a little overwhelmed with how strong it comes on at first and it seems to be easier for me to just add a little here, adjust other things, add a little more, adjust more things, and then come back to it at the end. So I'm adding a little bit of noise reduction here. This is a closer up portrait and it just kind of smooths out the skin and even the hair a little bit. So because I did bring down some of the exposures and make this portrait a little bit more darker, um, bringing down the highlights and whites, I'm going to go ahead and add some of that brightness back into the eyes. So this is another step that I tend to kind of do um, in increments, just adding a little bit here, coming back to it, adding a little bit more. As I go through this portrait, I'm continually trying to make it a little bit more dark and rich and it continues to make the eyes a little bit more dull than they actually are. So I find it important to like go back in and continually add a little bit more highlight to them. Here I'm flipping back and forth between two of the copies of the same photo that I've kind of styled a little bit differently. Um, this one that I, this is the one that I've been working on right now with you, and it's a little bit more. Um, it has a little bit more of yellow and green tones, where this is like a lot more. Perp, you can see a lot more of the purple and red in it, and that's kind of what I'm aiming to recreate. So this is just an example of how you can get so many different results from one single photo and how you decide to edit it. So this next picture is based on a stylized picture that I saw on Pinterest. So we had gone to a sunflower field and we had this whole outfit and the like 
little shovel and apron and gardening gloves picked out and there just happened to be a little shed and yeah this location worked out pretty nicely. When we were taking these, it was these were some of the last photos that we took that day, and it was starting to get dark. So, as you can see, at least right away, I noticed that um, their faces are kind of shadowy. There's like a lot of shadows by the hair. So, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this area, and then I will adjust everything and bring up the exposure and highlights a bit so that it's not so dark compared to the rest of the photo. So again with this photo I'm bringing up those purpley tones and some warm tones and just trying to make this photo more rich rather than bright and contrasty. Again, there's just so many ways that you can edit one single photo. For all of these that I'm showing you how I edit, I actually have already edited and then I'm just going back and duplicating the original photo and then just going through the process again. And it's actually kind of difficult if you're not using the preset that I created to replicate exactly what you did the first time. So. Honestly, I like some of these second tries better than the first attempts, but yeah, it's really just experimenting with colors and kind of knowing what you're going for and what kind of mood you want to set. See here, it's like really bright and contrasty, and that's not always what you want, and you should realize that if you want a certain style, you need to experiment a little bit more than just doing the basic editing. This last picture here was again taken in the same sunflower field as before and we're just bringing down the highlights and adjusting the exposure a little bit and bringing up the shadows. Shooting in this direct sunlight, this field is super sunny, it was like golden hour I guess and any which way that you turn, any angle that you're shooting from or any direction I guess that you're shooting from you're going to get completely different lighting and it's going to change the way that you have to edit.
So this last little detail that we're going to edit is not a big deal, but in case we decide to crop this image later, or if this image is going to get zoomed in on, you'll notice that she is missing nail polish on one of her fingers. So we're going to go ahead and just touch that up. So that's all I have for you. I actually really like this image in black and white and I'm just going to end it that way. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you and I really enjoy making these videos and if you want to see more just let me know in the comments or go ahead and subscribe so that you can see any future videos. Thank you for watching.